Hello, good afternoon everyone. Today I am going to discuss uh, identify the missing particle. So this is a nuclear and particle physics series. In this series, uh, we are going to discuss very simple and uh, basic uh, fundamental so in competitive examples they are giving some equation for example uh, k plus b tends to k plus uh, and plus they are giving some blank number we need to find for example uh, a a plus b tends to c plus some question mark okay so here we need to find what is this particle so this is one uh, reaction right nuclear particle reaction. so we need to find this missing particle okay so how to identify this missing particle topic name is identify The missing particle. Here I am going to discuss first. Uh, these are all previous uh, air question. Okay. Please keep in mind. A minus S proton tends to uh, k plus k so here they are giving nothing so it is question mark we need to find this missing particle so we already know conservation of uh, charge Conservation of lepton number, conservation of baryon number, conservation of strangeness number, conservation of isospin, conservation of I3, conservation of Y. Okay, so these are all particles. So this is how we are discussing here the basic properties of elementary particles. So variance number, lepton number, and uh, strangeness number, everything is there here. See some elementary particle interactions, I3 particles, isospin values, and uh, so these are the some group of uh, elementary particles. So interactions lepton and barium numbers all these properties are there right so we need to discuss the how this uh, missing particles are defined by using uh, this fundamental rules so let us find so why is a hypercharge so strangeness number also there all the properties are there so I am going to use all these properties to uh, try to find this missing particle uh, thing. Okay, this is my uh, question today. So at least I am going to discuss three examples. Okay, here I am not wasting any time. Let's go and check. First, here I am going to check U charge conservation of charge. So charge of this uh, is plus one plus proton is charge is one right and and uh, proton is charge one tends to tends to this k plus charge is plus one plus i don't know what is the charge here which is why i'm giving to here charge in case if you ob observe this clearly this one this one goes to cancel and here i got q 
equal to minus 1. Okay. Q equal to minus 1. Then I am going to find the left turn number. So, did you remember the left turn numbers? Light weight particles, variant numbers. So, here these are all not light weight particles. Okay. So, proton is variant number. These are KMSR. These are all not leptons, right? So, the lepton number 0 plus 0 tends to tends to uh, 0 plus i don't know this lepton number which is i'm giving l so by using this value l equal to 0 right l equal to 0 so therefore here i'm going to uh, assume l is equal to 0 so next I'm going to try to check this barrier number. Okay. So barrier means uh, what are the variants? Leptons variants are right. Okay. The first bosons fermions. Fermions are can divide into two types. Uh, light weighting particle, heavier particle, light weighting particles were called lepton number, heavier particles were calling variants. Okay. So these are the mesons, mesons don't doesn't have any barrier number zero plus so proton is heavy particle barrier number one and tends to sorry for um, this is one right tends to tends to <coughs> this is k is zero plus this is barrier number in case if you observe try to clear this one what is the barrier number here barrier number is barrier number is one okay so far so good therefore the barrier number is one next strange number this is the order most of the missing particle finding we need to check the charge left number barrier number and strange so did you remember the strange number formula so in case if you can't remember then i'll show you the strangeness formula so see here the strangeness these are the emi particle scattering okay i will show you the formula strangeness number formula see so s is a strangeness number formula these are the strangeness number formula. q is equal to i3 plus b plus s divided by 2 for that you need to uh, know the i3 value and b so therefore i know this uh, strangest number values okay so in case if you can't watch the previous uh, classes then please go and watch then you can easily understand these steps so the strangest number of k mesons uh, is minus one plus so this one is strangest number zero tends to tends to tends to this is strange f number one plus this is yes so this is overall overall i want to s here so s equal to from this equation what is the s equal to minus two s equal to minus two s equal to minus 2 here you need to observe carefully so minus 2 is okay minus 2 is a pair strangeness number minus 2 particles minus 2 uh, did you remember that groups strong particles uh, order strong particle order uh, in case if you can't remember the strong particles order strange number here i am going to give, give the list k mesons k mesons okay k mesons the strange number particle plus one uh, okay k mesons anti anti particles that is minus one uh, this omega the uh, minus one 
the sigma groups the third uh, three particles are there uh, uh, this is minus one and this group cos i group okay this is very very important this group uh, having that uh, range is number minus two omega is range is number minus three this is the order I try to remember this order okay yes if i forget during the strangest number maybe i explain this thing okay so here uh, i got some confusion for that i am going to write strangest number two particles so we know the strangest number two particles are there one is the nodal particle that has been zero here so there is no charge and another one is some charges minus charges there. so this is the gas i particles right a s i particle this minus here these are the two particles why i am concerned here s is equal to minus two okay and i got s is equal to minus two the gas i particles here the gas i particle then what is the exact link or uh, uh, or i want to choose this particle or, or i want to choose these particles now we can go and look the charge q equal to minus one right then you can choose my particle so that is the missing particle here is the cos i particle the answer is the answer is the cos i particle okay. okay minus so this is the correct answer then you can get five marks is it this is how you can check the missing particles number then here i'm going to discuss one more example um i minus plus p tends to tends to a not plus here we don't know what is the particle now we want to check the order so first i'm going to checking the charge q okay this is minus one plus one tends to zero plus the q therefore therefore q equal to charge q equal to zero charge q equal to zero okay charge q equal to zero next lepta number of these particles so in case if you want to do very fast you need to know what is the left hand number what is the barrier number isospin value strangers number value okay you keep on uh checking these values up to you can get value left hand number zero this one this is not left hand number these are all the these are the a mesons left hand number there is no left hand number here plus this is l so therefore if the left hand number is zero okay so here whatever missing particle is the, the missing particle charge is uh, neutral left hand number zero which means these are not left hand number okay then barrier number guess if it is barrier number then okay let's go on to it barrier number p is one and uh, this is zero less so this is b right okay barrier number so by using this equation you can confirm variant number b equal to one okay so this is the variant number <coughs> this is the variant number next uh, strangeness number in some cases we need to check more strangeness number zero these are all not strangeness number so this is strangeness number plus one this one so I don't know the what is a s value one not function. So therefore s equal to minus one. Change is number. So very good that is a minus one particle. So therefore uh, we need to check the strange number s equal to zero. The two particles we have s is equal to zero strange number. One is uh, this particle, another one is this one. Okay, because why I am choosing this uh, zero neutral charge, charge is zero. Next work. Okay. Here I am going to uh, check. So from this four conservation laws, I didn't find the exact uh, thing. 
So for that, I need to check one more uh, ISO spin thing. So this is ISO spin one. That's a uh, on ISO spin one divided by two tends to one divided by two, one divided by two. Thus, this is ISO spin. This one is I equal to zero. So I equal to one. I equal to one. So therefore, it is easy to find what is I equal to one. A equal to one is sigma naught. Therefore, here the missing particle is sigma zero. Okay. So this is a uh, uh, second example. Then you can check this one for practice. You can check this one. Proton plus proton tends to pi plus plus neutron. Plus this is some particle. Plus you need to find this. Okay, so here I'm going to give some hint. You need to check up to a strangest number. Of this is the order for checking the missing particle. Okay, first charge, the next lepton number, next to barrier number, next to strangest number. In case after checking uh, strangest number, still didn't find uh, that uh, particle missing particle, then you need to check. Uh, I well most of the things you can get this okay so this is how uh, we can go and check the thing particle uh, next class i am going to discuss uh, this quark model